I'm checking out Nobar Linux. Think Fedora under the hood, but built for gamers, streamers, and creators right out of the box. Here's the deal. Nobara comes fully loaded with gaming tools like Proton GE, Wine, OBS, Steam, Codex, and NVIDIA drivers, so you don't spend hours in the terminal getting things to work. It's a hobby distro with a slick installer and polished welcome screen. Grab drivers, codecs, layouts without digging around. Under the hood, the latest Nobara 42 ships with kernel 6.14, Mesa 25.x, updated NVIDIA support, and driver switching tools, so you can swap between Mesa Vulkan and NVIDIA branches at will. They also ditched Firefox in favor of a custom-tuned Brave browser to dodge GPU video crashes, stripping out Brave Wallet rewards and such. Flatpak fans will dig Flatpost, Nobara's native Flatpak app store. It's simple, GUI-driven, permission-aware, and, like everything else, works without terminal tweaks. So, who's it for? If you game, stream, or edit, Nobara fires up what you need fast. Reddit users emphasize smooth gameplay, minimal hiccups, one calls it new OS of choice. You'll pay a tiny price. It's bleeding edge rolling release, so occasional update bumps are known, but that's the trade-off for leading edge drivers and packages. Verdict. If you want a Fedora-based system that just works for gaming and media, no driver wrestling, no codec hunts, Nobara is a solid pick. You're getting bleeding edge kernel, graphics, flat pack store, and intuitive tools for everything tech heavy users need. I'm sold, emphatic. If you're serious about Linux gaming or content creation and don't want to tinker endlessly, that's Nobara.